my channel. So today is 2nd of June and it's two days after I watched the Hong Kong ballet performance. It's three days later after I watched the cello recital performance. I already have a good comment of it. However, before we go to the comments, let's see how it was going the two days that I was watching these performances. See you guys later! So now I'm currently at the Zhong Giheng Keras working with Hong Kong Sivanieta Orchestra Trailer Recital Performance and I just arrived at the theatre right now, the concert hall right now and I'm going in soon and I'll see you guys later, bye! So actually at City Hall you can find some area like this which is full of some um, papers and catalogs of what's it's coming soon and you guys can actually come and take a look if you have time or you're around this area so come back to here for the cello recital performance of Jongi Henkeras I think I can't give loads of comments or feelings about it since I'm not a professional cellist However, what I can say is I really like the way how he expressed these pieces. I think the special part of music is that every person like Ibsen's place, you may have different kind of feelings and emotions based on your different like personality or old background. What I can say is I really like the way how he expressed these pieces and the way he performed with the cello itself. I think another thing that makes him so special as a cellist performer or solo performer is that he's really friendly. Like sometimes, you know what I mean? Like when the cellist is sitting there and he is going to be really concentrating on his pieces and doesn't really communicate with the audiences. However, Zhong Yihin Kedas is a totally different kind of person. Before he play every pieces, he explain the pieces and how he work with it, how is his preparation or how does he feel about the pieces itself. I can't say the performance itself or Zhong Yihin Keras himself is good or not. However, what I can say is I really love the way how he expressed these pieces and the way how he become in front of audiences. That's what I can tell. performance I love Hong Kong ballet this team this whole group even more like I don't know how to express myself right now it's just I fall in love with their pieces and the performer the ballet it's just amazing like I can't say anywhere anymore other than amazing brilliant fantastic blah 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 and so on so for this performance itself it was separated into three parts these three different kind of ballet pieces was choreographed by different people and I can say that the texture and the feelings of these three pieces is really different. If you really need me to choose a favorite ballet piece between these three, I would say the beginning piece and it's called Chroma. And I can say that Chroma is really special. It's really different than the normal ballet pieces. For me, I think it's a mixture of jazz, ballet, and contemporary itself and I like the way how it shows it and the stage was like um, there was three white walls and there was a hole at the back and there was performer frozen over there and they were not moving and it makes the whole piece more intense and there was actually some relaxing part but after that, you can still like, it drive you into a kind of emotions and I really love that and this piece is a little bit similar to a piece I watched in London with my um, teacher and classmates. It was also a dance piece and for that one, it was a mixture of um, contemporary and jazz, I can say. And there was more like a dramatic thing. I think for that one, it's more like a dance drama. 
And for the main concentration of this performance, the Rise of Spring, I can't say I don't like it because it amazed me. I was like, I was sitting at the edge of my seats and I was like so scared. I don't know why I was so scared and I was like so intense. And that's maybe the reason why I doesn't like it as much as the Chroma because I think the Rite of Spring is a little bit too intense for me because the whole piece was so driving you to so high emotions or you feel so tense, that's what I can say. I don't really like the feeling of that for the whole 20 to 45 minutes. It's so intense and I feel so stressed out. So maybe that's the reason I don't like it that much. But it was an amazing piece also and some people may like it more than the Chroma one. For me, I think the best part of the Rite of Spring is the merging of the performers and the sets. I can say that the choreographer and the sets designer did a really amazing job. The, you can see that the performances, it's a merging of the sets and the performer and the costume and the props itself. It's, it's really simple. It's something really simple, props and costumes, but it totally sent out the message of what the piece wants to be sent. Did I say something ridiculous or did I repeat loads of things? I don't know, I just, for the ballet performance, I don't know how to express myself actually because after the performance, the whole performance, when I was going back home with my mom, I was so excited and I was so like, oh my god, oh my god, and until now, I just don't have a word or a way to express myself. I hope you guys really don't mind. <laughs> so this is all about this video. And for next Wednesday, I'm going to do my sharing of the performance, the red sorghums I mentioned in the previous video. And I'm so excited to see it. And I hope you guys love this video and love my sharing. Hope you guys love this video. If you guys love it, please give me a like. If you want to hear more information about different kind of performances, Feel free to subscribe me below and remember to click the bell nearby and you will never miss out any video if I have uploaded one. Hope you guys love it. See you guys next Wednesday. Bye!